Hey guys, it's Ashley. Today we are going to be getting my Christmas planner all set up and ready to go. And of course, of course, I had to use the Grinch's to-do list as my cover. If you know me, you know I absolutely love the Grinch. I am so excited to get this thing set up with you guys. Now to create the custom cover, um, I'll talk about the sheets that I created, like the Grinch's to-do list and stuff. I'll tell you about those here in just a minute. But to create the custom cover, I'm using the Happy Planners Create Your Own Custom Cover Sheets. These are awesome. They're really easy to use, although I did mess it up in the beginning and I'll talk you guys through that entire process and I'm gonna give you some tips on what not to do so you don't make it more complicated like I did. They are in fact really, really easy to use. And there I was just showing you, it has the directions all on there on how to use them. And we'll talk more about that here in just a minute. So I will be using these to create my own cover. I'm also gonna be using these checklists that come from the Happy Planner. If you're new here, all of my planner supplies came from the Happy Planner. And I will link their website down below. You guys can check them out. This is a uh, Christmas extension pack and it's also from the Happy Planner. And then this is the Christmas companion pack, which again, like I said, is from the Happy Planner. And I will link to each one of these items individually down below as well. create the Grinch's to-do list. I actually bought an SVG file off of Etsy that had some Grinch images in there that I downloaded, which to do that, I had the Grinch's little hand with the ornament up top, and I also used the part down at the bottom that says I'm booked. For everything else, I created that on Canva. The times, the words, all the things. This one, Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas. I also created it on Canva. This one, which I thought was so stinking cute, Dasher, Dancer, Prancer, Vixen, Common, Comet, Cupid, Donner, Bliss, and Rudolph. That is hard to say fast. I created that on Canva. And then this sheet, like I said, was a coloring page from Tara over at Rad and Happy. Um, as far as the font for the Grinch's to-do list, that I will link down below as well because that's not a font that I already had. I did download that font and then I used it in Canva, like I said. Canva is amazing amazing you guys for creating fun little things like this okay now we're going to get into the actual process of getting everything cut out and set up and ready to go so i printed off my coloring page i grabbed a red and a green marker and i'm going to outline this i didn't go crazy with coloring i just wanted a few pops of red and green so that's why i outlined everything you guys if you decide to use a coloring sheet color it however you want make it your own but i'm not going to show you the whole process of me coloring it because it's just coloring. You guys know how to do that. We don't need to go in depth with that one. Now here's where I kind of messed up. So I ended up using the laminating sheets. By the way, I don't know if I mentioned this yet, but you do not need a laminator. You do not need any kind of heat to do this. You're going to need a ruler and something to put inside of it. So I just wanted to mention that. But I took the laminating sheets and I traced them on the paper and then I cut directly where I traced. That was my problem. You actually need the sheets to be smaller than the cover page, which saying this out loud right now, it makes total sense, right? Because the page is self-adhering. So it needs to be able to stick to itself around the pages that you create. Well, I wasn't thinking about that. I was like, I'll just trace it, cut it out, stick it in there. We'll seal it up. Duh, Ashley, duh, it needs to be smaller. So that's my tip for you if you go to do this. Make sure that whatever you're putting on the inside, you cut it a little bit smaller than the laminating sheets. That way they can stick to themselves.
Okay, now that I have my pages all cut down, I stuck them in between the two sheets of the cover. I'm going to start peeling off the two. There's two like sticky label things that you pull off of there. The first one is a really small one. It's on the side where it's already pre-punched for your discs. You'll pull that off first. That kind of gives you like a starting point. And then you're going to start to peel off the bigger one, which you'll see me doing here. You're going to peel it off slowly while you take your straight edge and you're gonna push it across there. This is gonna help eliminate bubbles. Now, I didn't have any problem whatsoever with bubbles, but I think it's also because I did it really slow. If you peel this thing off all at once, and then you try to lay it over, that's where you might end up with bubbles or little lumps in it and stuff. So just peel it off as you're going, and that really helps eliminate bubbles. Here I'm going to do the exact same thing to the front cover. So I actually did the back cover first and now I'm doing the same thing to the front cover. All right, the cover pages are completed, so now it's time to start assembling all of this. Now the discs that I'm gonna be using are these like champagne metal discs. These are not the ones that I wanna leave on here permanently. I do wanna find a different set. Honestly, I thought about taking a set of metal discs and spray painting them to see what would happen, kinda of like a DIY, see, see if it would work. I'm kind of afraid though that the pages would eventually rub the paint off. Maybe I can find like a sealer or something, I don't know. That's just an idea that I had. I might try it and see what happens. But anyways, the easiest way that I know to put discs on is to start by putting them onto the cover and then you're gonna start adding everything else in. And here's where I'm gonna first add the extension pack. Now, if you guys wanna see a detailed video about this extension pack, I have one up on my YouTube channel. I will link it down below in the description box. But this thing's really cool. It has menu planning in there. It's got stuff for your Christmas cards, for planning out gifts and stocking stuffers. It's got a section for cookie exchanges, for notes, um, for stickers. Like it has all the things you're gonna need to plan for Christmas. And you guys, this is my first dedicated Christmas planner and I am so excited to have this thing. It is gonna make life so much easier just to have everything inside of one place because before I would create a section inside of my planner, but it wasn't this detailed. And so I was trying to make all the details and like pages and stuff like, I mean, it worked, it was fine. If you don't have one of these, like no big deal. I did it for a few years without one. I'm just really pumped to finally have a dedicated Christmas planner. And then here we're gonna dive into the companion pack. This is also in that video where I show you the extension pack. It's all in a video together so you guys can check everything out. But here I pulled out the stickers that are in here. I also pulled out the dry erase board and that's actually going to be my divider for the section that I'm creating in the back. So in the back here, I am gonna add these little checklist sheets that come inside of that um, companion pack. There is a couple of these pocket folders, which I do end up adding one, but I add it to the front. That way if I have receipts that I need to keep or anything like that, again, it's all in one section ready to go. And I'm also adding this checklist paper that I showed you earlier. This is gonna be handy to have just to make any kind of list. Um, I love personally having extra paper in there so I can make a quick, like fast scribbly list. And then I go back in and I rewrite everything all nice and neat inside of my planner. I just wanna share that with you guys if you guys see my planner. Just know that a lot of that stuff I've wrote down probably somewhere on a, on a sheet where it looks all crazy. And I went back in and I made everything look super cute. So here I just added a pocket folder. This is one that I already had on hand and I stuck the Christmas cards inside of there and the stickers that came inside of that um, companion pack. 
Here's where I'm sticking the pocket folder in the front. And now we have everything all set up and ready to go. So I'm gonna walk you guys through this. First up, we have my favorite cover ever, The Grinch's To-Do List. You guys, I literally have watched The Grinch, gosh, hundreds of times. Like, I'm not even joking. That's not me exaggerating. I will watch it in the middle of summer. So we open this thing up. I have the pocket folder in the front. Again, this is for receipts, stuff like that. We have a menu section, which has menu planning inside of here. We've got some recipe cards in the front here. And then this next section is for party planning. So you've got some holiday party planning sheets inside of here. So you can hopefully, hopefully we'll be able to plan some parties this year and have some fun little Christmas parties. I hope so. The next section is for cards. And this is neat because you can keep your Christmas card list in here and you can have everyone's address all in one place. You can check mark off once you get the card sent. So I really like that one. This section is for gifts. So you have your gift planning sheets. This is also where you can plan out stocking stuffer ideas, which I love. I love, love creating stockings. That's so much fun to me. This section is for memories. And I really like this one too, because you can write out your favorite memories. We have these fun little memory planning sheets. And then there's also family tradition section here, which I really love, that's fun. Next up, we have a note section. This is gonna be handy. Per usual, we always need extra notes, right? And then this section is for a cookie exchange. It does have the rules listed there. It's got some alternative ingredients listed on the front. There's recipe cards, really good section to have. And then we have a section for stickers, which the stickers that I keep inside of here are from the um, extension pack. They come along with that. After the stickers, we have the dry erase board. I've got some note paper inside of there. And then we have the pocket folder and inside of the pocket folder, like I said, I have the stickers from the companion pack as well as the Christmas cards that come in that companion pack. And then we have the back cover. So that is it, you guys. That is gonna be my Christmas planner. I'm so excited to have this thing set up. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. Come hang out with me on Instagram and I will see you in the next video.